The NOPD is closer to having a permanent superintendent, but is the process of naming a new leader veiled in secrecy? Alyssa Curtis spoke with two city officials who have two very different opinions. Everyone was led to believe this would be a transparent process. Lack of transparency. I don't I don't see that that's um, the case at all. Amid the search for a permanent NOPD superintendent, council member JP Morrell says the process has not been transparent. You have to assure the public the person who was picked to be the next chief was the best qualified of the of the batch. It seems like there is an active effort to not let us know if there were more qualified people. Morrell says cutting down the candidate pool from 33 to 6 so quickly is troubling. Is the goal to get to the best person or is the goal to rig the process for one person? But Mayor Control says there's nothing to hide. The whole point of having it independent so that it could be managed uh, without any, I would say, micromanagement of the administration, just guidance. The mayor again said she would not release names of the six semifinalists. We asked if not releasing them feeds into the claims of lack of transparency. She says she's protecting them from media scrutiny, but it's WWL TV's job to be a watchdog. No, not when, no, not when it comes to doing harm to people. And sometimes you all do a, you do a really good job of doing harm to people when they're stepping up to do a good service for the people. The mayor says it will be a two day assessment for finalists on July 20th and July 21st. Stakeholders have been invited, including the Fraternal Order of Police, but two other police associations, PANO and the Black Organization of Police, have not been. Both PANO and BOP say it's equally as important for their members to be represented. The finalists will eventually go before city council. If the administration believes that they're going to back the council in the corner with a dog and pony show fake selection process, they have another thing coming. Reporting at City Hall, Alyssa Curtis, Eyewitness News.